Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll see how to change default language in Codeigniter. As we all know, Codeigniter is in English by default. So, how can we change the default language to some other language? Suppose you have a website in Codeigniter in two languages, English and Swedish. So, when you try when you open your website for the first time, it will be loaded in English by default. But you want to load the website in Swedish by default. So, how can we do this? Let's start. First of all, let's create our language folder. For that, uh, to create the language folder, go inside the application and then language folder and create a new folder uh, and name the folder the language you want in my case it's Swedish so I'm going to create a folder named Swedish S W E D I S H Swedish okay I have created my language folder now I will create my language file where I will put all the language keys and the values that I need to translate so let's create a file and let's save it and name it as homelang.php okay Uh, currently, I'm assuming you guys already know how to translate website. So, in this tutorial, we will only focus on how to change the default language. Okay. So, first of all, let's just create our language keys that we will translate. So, first string will be change default lang and Let's translate this string first. We will translate it to Swedish. And the second is create a key para one para one let's translate all these fields name And the submit text. Let's just copy the text here. Okay. Copy. okay, we have created our language file for the Swedish, but we also need to create a language file in English. So let's create a new file for English as you as you can see I am creating this language file inside my English folder and file name must should be same if you are going to translate contents test all the contents and 
put the values as it is in default. And the name, email, <coughs> password, and the submit. Okay, now we have created our language files and we have set up all the language related things. Now the second thing that we need to do is to load these language files inside our controller. So for this, I'm going to load my language file inside the constructor function. But if you wish, you can also load your language file inside the inside the uh, method, inside the index method or handle form method. Depends upon your requirement. But I'm to going I'm going to load uh, all the language files globally. So this lang load home and the language let's keep it blank for now <coughs> as you can see i am using only home because underscore lang is added by default by coding nighter so you don't have to add underscore lang to load the language files so we have loaded our language file our next step is to translate the content so let's move We coordinated this lang line and the language key. So, in our case, it is change default lang, and uh, and this language will be this line should be para one. Let's translate our name field. Email field. Uh, that's the same. I know. I know the key. Password. Finally, the submit text. Okay. Now we have attached all our language keys with these strings in our view file. So let's just see what's gonna happen. Uh oh. Oh shit, I forgot to echo all these texts. My mistake. Let's translate it. As you can see, my current language is blank. So, the coding nighter takes the default language as English, but if I change this to Swedish, yeah, as it, my string is translated into, into Swedish. So, if I change it to English, as you can see the file is now translated into English but you must know this if you just uh, if uh, if language is not said coding nighto tries to load the default language and the default language is set to English that's why it's loaded in English so what we will do next is to change our default language so that when when we load our website it will be opened in Swedish by default to do this you must go inside your application folder open config folder and find config.php file inside config 
you will see a language key change it to the language you wish to translate your website in default in my case it is swedish so i'm going to change it in swedish as w e d i s h all right now when i reload this page now the website will be open in swedish yeah as you can see bingo now my website is loaded in called included in swedish so if you it's it's not a big deal if you open it in from a new browser you will see that website is okay as you can see the website our website is now loaded in swedish so we have just changed our default language but wait this is not the end what will happen if i just submit the key as you can see i'm getting an error this is because coding nighter tries to load files from the default language because every error and every message that coding nighter provides it loads from its default language but now we have changed the default language that's why we also need to create that language folder inside the coding nighter core system so that coding nighter can take all the error messages or the messages from the language files oh, sorry from the language folder so let's create our language folder to create the core language folder go inside the system and here you will find a language inside this language create a new folder and name the folder of your language now our second step is to copy all the contents of copy all the files from the english folder to our swedish folder so let's just open it so let's browse to our st docs directory ci tutorial and system language english copy all paste all right now we have created the core language core swedish language folder now when we submit this form we will, uh, we will not we don't get any error okay but there is still an issue as we can see the error are still in english so how are we going to translate these these error, these messages to do this you must open the form validation link because coding nighter uses this language to display error messages so we'll just open our form validation link and here you can see all the form related rules and their related messages so in my case uh, i'm getting the error messages the name field is required so um, i will just only change uh, translate this uh, this string because i'm not going to show you all the all the translation because it will take so much time so i will show you a simple demo and if you guys wish to change all the strings you can do it by one so let's see the name field is required so name field is required and just let's change it name something like this yeah okay let's copy this paste and copy the field okay <sighs> okay let's see all right now you can see you are getting your error messages in swedish also now you guys know how to change the default language of coding nighter i hope you guys like this video and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button thank you